anything I learned from this quarantine, it's that I don't like wearing a bra. Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another vlog. If you're new here, my name is Sunday, and I hope you subscribe, stick around, join the family. We have family over here, okay? We... Yeah, I don't know why I always forget to tell people to subscribe. There is one quote that I absolutely believe in, and that is... I forgot. Something about asking. If you want something, ask for it type of thing. You'd be surprised at what you can get in life if you just ask. Please subscribe. I thought I would do another vlog because there's still a lot going on. A couple of updates that I need to tell you guys. I'm chilling in the house, just had breakfast, had some kind of like egg quesadilla thing. And I wanted to update you guys on a couple of things that's going on. Number one, I lost my job. <laughs> okay, well not like officially lost my job, but my company is closed. I'm just completely not really working. Um, I am doing other things for money, obviously. I'm gonna be traveling a bit for work. If you see me traveling around for work, I don't want to hear it. I don't give a dang. Corona who these bitches still do. A lot of you guys may know I've been suffering from this crazy disease. I have not said what it is yet because I'm just, uh, I'm not ready yet, okay? It's a lot going on. Anyways, I've been getting treatment for my disease at the hospital like for, I don't know, a month or two. I'm losing, I'm losing count. Like honestly, the days are flying and I don't even know what day it is. You know them underwear with like the days of the week on them? I could really use those right now. Um, Everything's going really, really well. I feel so much better already. As you can see, I'm freaking drinking coffee like I couldn't even drink coffee before. Life is good right now. However, I have gained so much weight. This is actually the heaviest I have ever been in my entire life. The treatment that I am doing makes you gain a lot of weight. She warned me in the beginning, but this is what she said, okay? Blah, 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 long old packet of side effects. One of the things she said was increased appetite following weight gain. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'm good, you know. Those people gain weight because they were overeating, obviously. No, 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 no. <laughs> she even drew me like a little diagram. It was the most adorable thing ever because obviously the language barrier between us, you know, she wants to make sure things are very clear. She drew me a picture and she was like, there's a high chance that you might have this thing called like moon face and then something about like getting a hunch of fat in the back of your neck. So yeah, she warned me my face was gonna get round and I was gonna gain weight and stuff like that. And I kinda just like, I don't know, I just didn't think it was gonna be that serious as long as I didn't overeat and go ham. I was not overeating. As a matter of fact, I should have lost weight from the way that I was eating, but instead, I was gaining weight. <laughs> um, and I noticed it really quickly. My sister, she's in the medical field, obviously. I talked with her and she's like, you gonna, you gonna be gaining weight. Just, just let it go. Let it go, let it go. Summer body ache. Happening. It's mostly in my face, which really sucks because that's like one area that's never changed. Like I've always had a really sharp jawline, high cheekbones. I never really gained weight in my face. If I did, it was in my stomach or my legs or something like that, but it's just. I feel like it's swollen. It's just crazy. The other really crazy thing is it happened so fast. That's how I knew it wasn't from whatever I was eating. It was just like. Contour doesn't work. I have contoured, guys. Contour. Still look like a chipmunk. I'm actually so surprised people have not commented on my videos and said anything because, like, that would hurt my feelings. Please don't. I'm not upset at all. I'm not mad. I'm actually extremely happy because my health is my number one priority. It's the only thing that I care about. I feel a lot better and I can tell that the treatment is helping. So if I gotta gain weight and just be a little chunkums for a little while, that's fine. That's fine with me. So I'm definitely not gonna be doing any dieting until I'm done with the treatment because it's kind of useless because I just realized I'm gaining weight no matter what I eat. So, I mean, I'm not over eating or eating any crazy stuff like that i'm still really balancing out all my meals but i'm not going to try and do any kind of like weight loss diet right now because it's just pointless what i will be focusing on though is my workouts and trying to build as much muscle as possible so that when i do start to like cut down and diet hopefully there'll be some kind of muscles under there i, I don't know there's a windstorm outside right now it's noisy stop a lot of you guys are like oh she looking a little thick i am I will be spending quite a bit of time at home from now on because there's just not a lot going on, obviously. So if there's any kind of video that you guys want to see, now is the time to recommend it. Leave a comment down below. Let me know so I can, like, get started on that. Don't really have a life. <laughs> also, I know a lot of you guys were wondering what was going on with the whole apartment situation. Um, I did apply for the apartment in episode two of like the apartment hunting videos. I didn't get it. They basically wouldn't count three of my main sources of income. They only wanted to count the Japanese one. Yeah, they did not want to approve a foreigner with foreign money, which was kind of strange. I had no problem getting this place or like 
getting approved for other places that I was thinking about getting when I first moved here. So I don't really know what's going on with that. If they don't want my money, they don't want my money. And at the same time, this whole Rona thing hit. So I don't think this is a very good time to be trying to move anyways. I do really love my apartment. It's absolutely amazing. As I said, I've yet to find anything better. I just really wanted more space and more light. So what I've decided to do is just try to utilize the space that I already have because I'm not utilizing this space properly whatsoever. I can install so much more storage and I just haven't. So I'm gonna try and like update this entire place. I'm gonna do like a whole redecoration thing. So yeah, those are the updates that I wanna tell you guys about. Getting chunky, feeling better, not moving, and I lost my job. Let's get on with the video. I just got my package in the mail. I bought a coffee machine, finally, off of Amazon. I have a feeling this purchase is not only going to be good for my wallet, but for my health as well, because I will stop buying sugary drinks from the cafe. And making your own coffee also saves money. I got this one. There's a cuter one, but... I went with this one because it was like electronic and you just have to press a button. The cuter one was so freaking cute, but it was like one of those pour over things and ain't nobody got time for that. This is the real reason why I opened up the package though. I've been wanting like a portable reusable coffee cup for a really, really long time. I have one back in Cali, but here in Japan, I don't have one. Gotta help the environment. My friend at work actually has the same one and I thought it was so freaking cool. There's like a cork thing here. Yes. The instructions are all in Japanese. I mean, but it's just a coffee machine, right? It can't be that complicated. I plugged it up. It only has two buttons. I bought these like coffee filters from the store. I thought I would need these, but like the instructions don't show any type of filter being in here. Like, is this the filter already? Do I just put it right in here? Is this, does this, is this, is this dishwasher safe? Why did I say that? I don't even own a dishwasher. Ugh. I just bought these random beans from the store literally because they were cute and kind of like matched the house. So I don't know what they taste like, but <laughs> they look good. I really hate their logo. What do you mean coffee in something? What is something? Now I ruined the aesthetic bag. Ah! <laughs> Why is it so complicated? Just trying to make coffee. I don't even know how many scoops. I have never done this. Lord Jesus. Jesus, take the wheel. I'm gonna just guess it's one scoop because I have no idea. Maybe two. Let's put two. Let's put one. No. We're gonna put two. Does that look right to y'all? Am I doing this right? Did I just screw this whole machine up? Help. Okay, I'm just gonna press like the one button. What is that button? That is nothing. I broke it. Green light. Green is good. Green is good. Oh, I hear noises. Oh my God, I think I did it. Was it really that easy? And I was doing all of that complaining. Oh my God, it's working. Look, bruh, I'm a genius. World end. I got it. I know how to operate a coffee machine. Come for me. Almond milk. I don't think I need the lid since I'm in the house. Literally just a work day, so I will be here all day. How fun. But at least I have coffee now that doesn't have sugar in it and it has almond milk. Yes. Morning, baby. Good morning. I'm happy. Yes, I'm running. He loves running. Really excited. I just got this from the store. It's like a shelf. I can't even get this apartment tour video up because the place is just such a wreck and I just have so much stuff everywhere. I really didn't want to make any changes to my apartment yet before I filmed it. Like I wanted to film a full like apartment tour video before I change anything, but I need to figure out this whole storage situation. So I just got one shelf. I also got two buckets like this that are gonna go on the shelf. And yeah, I'm gonna try and install this right now. Let's just, <laughs> let's see how this goes. So here's what it is looking like now. I can put something from wall to wall. So I know I'm gonna put multiple shelves, but we're just gonna start off with one just to see how it goes.
done. I installed it and I'm kind of proud of myself because it was hard to figure out. Was it though? Obviously, nothing's in English. Can't lie, I had some trouble in the beginning, but I figured it out. Um, I'm like scared that I put this too low, but I know I want another shelf on the top for like towels and stuff or just anything. Like hoping that this isn't too low. I mean like if you, let me sit, let me test this out. No, it's fine. Plenty of space. I have a lot more toilet paper to stack though. This is just like one casing. I got it from Costco and I'll never run out again. Also, thank you to the subscriber who sent me toilet paper. Just got the cutest little note and Easter package from Catherine. Thank you, Catherine. Oh my God, this stuff is so cute. Like best Easter in Japan ever. It's just so funny because we definitely don't have these obviously, but there are also no Reese's in Japan. And like, if you ever wanted to give a gift to someone living here, this would be it. <laughs> Y'all know the toilet paper struggle has been real but i'm literally the most excited about this lysol i'm definitely set for toilet paper for life who needs to wipe their butt i got you i got you so i'm gonna finish organizing this i'm gonna fill these with like old makeup and stuff like that, that i'm not really using and yeah that is one project down Ugh, that top one really doesn't fit uh i might take that out actually Done with that, it's looking good. So now I'm gonna finish popping off my nails and then redo them, because I've been meaning to do them for a while now. It takes a little while to get them off, but they're not as hard as acrylic or damaging as acrylic whatsoever. I freaking love them. I'm using poly gel. I'll show you guys kind of a little bit how I do them. If you want a more like in-depth video on how I do my nails, let me know in the comment section down below, because I got some questions about it before. I got it off of Amazon, super duper easy. Definitely a money saver. So I'm about to do a little home workout. I already did my run earlier this morning. If I'm greasy, it's because I have on so much sunscreen. So I've started feeling better. I'm really excited about that. I've decided that I'm ready to step it up a notch with all of my workouts. Um, I'm gonna try and just focus on muscle gain like as much as I possibly can. I used to have ab shadows. Now I got like, I just got rolls. I have these weights that I always use. I stopped using them obviously when I started just like cutting down with the workouts. These are both 2.5 kg each. I also have two of these, two pairs of these. Um, um, these are ankle weights and I don't know why there's hair on them. I actually don't even know how heavy these are. I'm sorry. I have like this whole little bucket of just all this fitness stuff that I've been using. Oh, here's my other ankle weights. And then I have all my fitness bands. I have like four of them. I bought these recently on Amazon and they're really, really tough. Like these were hard for me. <laughs> I think I'm gonna try the medium one today. I'm not really sure. We'll see how that goes. I'm only focusing on lower body today, maybe a little bit of abs and that's it. <laughs> why? working out with the ankle weights or the resistance bands recently so a lot harder than I thought. If you want the um, full workout that I just did, I'll put it down below. It's basically one of the ones that I like created on my own. I have like this whole little workout book of like different workouts that I used to do. Over the years, I just started building up knowledge on different workouts and stuff like that. And I kind of just like created my own, like I have my own ab challenge, which is way too hard for me to do right now. So I can't. <laughs> so that was just like a basic lower body workout with the resistance band and my ankle weights. I have been using apps recently for like beginner friendly stuff. Kind of really just wanted to focus on activating my muscles and making sure that they were actually engaged and working. Once thing I hate is working out incorrectly and just not getting any results so uh, I don't know I just kind of want to like focus focus anyways I am exhausted I'm gonna make something to eat take a shower and I still haven't done my nails yet so I need to do my nails I think I need a shower too you girls stink I look like I stink I'm about to do my nails and um, a lot of you guys were asking about how I was doing them I used to use this little like dip nail kit that I got from Walmart I like this a lot but it's a lot of work it takes a long time 
Recently, my friend put me on to the poly gel nail kit, and this thing is amazing. I've been using it for some time now. I've been doing my own nails like for a long time, like way past quarantine. I also did acrylics before, but by far, this has got to be my favorite. And the only reason I never tried this was because I thought it was gonna be super difficult, and it's not. I got this off of Amazon. It comes with all of these colors. I've mostly just used the white. I'm kind of sad because it's almost out. I also got my LED light off of Amazon and this like electric drill off of Amazon. I love all this stuff. It was just so worth it for me because like when you think about it, when I went to America, I got my nails done. That junk costs like $60. All of this combined, I don't even think costs $60. Like what the, and then you got to get a fill in two weeks? No, I was so over it. I'm so over getting my nails done. Like I love going to get them done, but it's just so overpriced. What happened to the good old days when getting your nails done cost $18? I have no idea how it's gotten that ridiculous but like $60, y'all, that's a car note. No. And it's one thing if it was like $60 and it lasts all month or something like that. No, them things last a week. No. Just made myself an iced coffee and I'm just gonna sit here and do my nails for a little while. <laughs> I was trying to do like really short nails, but they just ended up long because I don't know how to measure how much poly gel to take out. I'm learning though. It's a learning experience. So yeah, my nails are redone. Now I can just feel less like a slob. So I'm gonna go to the secondhand shop, the one that's actually closer to my location. I wanna see if they have any kind of furniture. I already found a really nice table and a stand. I don't really don't know what to call these things, but they're pure bamboo. So freaking nice, I'm so happy. The table was like four bucks and that stand was only like two bucks. It was just nuts. I cannot believe I found that, I'm so excited. Which also actually clears up a lot of my budget so I can buy other things. Like I actually need a bed and a fridge. I need a lot of junk. So I'm planning on completely redoing my entire apartment and I'm trying to find furniture right now. But yeah, before I go online and do all that shopping on Amazon and Ikea and stuff, I wanna make sure I look at all of the like secondhand shops to see if they have anything cool. Like the table that I just found. So I'm gonna go check that out. I know for a fact they have a really good refrigerator that I might want to get. I just have to figure out how to get it shipped here. So yeah, I'm gonna go check out the store and then come back and do more work. Like I try to show you the work, but it's just like my desk is messy. <laughs> taxi back and I'm so mad. I didn't even buy anything. I only bought a light bulb. But if I was to know I was getting caught in the rain and get a taxi, could have at least bought that little dresser thing that I saw. They had all kind of stuff. I'm really happy. I'm gonna definitely go back for that like refrigerator. It was like so nice, like almost brand new and it was so freaking cheap. It was like 200 bucks. Basically before I buy anything though, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do with the stuff that I already have. Throwing away stuff in Japan is such a freaking nightmare. It is just like, it, ugh irritates my soul. I've been having a lot of love with these little secondhand shops. I'm like in love. They got all kind of stuff in there. I'm gonna make dinner and then I'm just gonna do some work for the rest of the day. Mm -hmm. 